All right, guys. Uh, so I'm just going to go over the hot patch. So in this one, I fixed uh, an issue where whenever you'd be looking around and you weren't aiming, he would start uh, turning in place. Also fixed a, a problem where if you started aiming and you were looking behind him or off to the side beyond 90 degrees, he would uh, slide around a lot. So now it'll play the full animation if you do this, regardless of the angle. So also if you turn real slowly, He'll still stay grounded, but uh, it doesn't take much before it starts releasing uh, the root if he exceeds 90 degrees. Uh, but I kept it low enough so that the wraparound would be like non-existent. Uh, if you feel like it's still wrapping around, let me know and I'll hook this back up. Uh, but basically, I'm actually just leaving this connect, uh, disconnected uh, because it's more performant not to do interpolation. And I don't really feel like it's really that necessary. Also, I'm not doing this either. So I'll go ahead and go over this. So on the character blueprint, whenever you're looking around, I'm capturing uh, this yaw value. Uh, because X is when you're moving the mouse left to right. And if the absolute value of that is greater than 0.5, then I'm just going to release the root. You can try increasing this. Uh, if you increase it up to 2.0 uh, or around that, around that value, then you're definitely going to want to uh, reconnect uh, this right here. In fact, I probably should have left that connected like this so that it was more obvious how you are supposed to hook it back up. But anyway, uh, you've seen how I did it. It'll be like this in the next update. So I also have this disconnected. Uh, I left it here in case you want to use it or if you tweak this in such a way that you need it. Uh, this is also disconnected still. This is what actually is using that value that's being calculated back here. So I created a blueprint thread safe uh, pure function here. And if it and if that should release root, which means basically we should release the root if we're aiming and our mouse movement exceeds 0.5 threshold. Now this actual value goes up to like 25.0. Uh, so I've seen it as high as 25, maybe even 30.0. So that's when you're rotating it, your mouse real fast. That's when you're moving your mouse real fast. So anyway, yeah, I kept that pretty basic. And if we exceed 89 degrees and we're moving our mouse faster than 0.5, then we'll release the root bone. And that is bound over here to this function. Now I did increase the rotation half-life to 0.5 because I thought it would fix the problem, but it doesn't, it doesn't really seem to help actually. Uh, I think it does a little bit. So I left it like it like that at 0.5, but the original value is 0.1. And I just have this max rotation error bound to that pure thread safe uh, function. So anyway, that's basically the rundown. Uh, I made sure that everything was categorized in here now. So that stuff that's related to the aim offset will be under the aim offset uh, right here. You'll find that get max rotation error. And over here, I have it under the aim, the want, once release route. It's going to be under the aim. And yeah. Also, I set these up under a context, context anim uh, thing as well. And yeah, that's basically it. That's the only thing I changed on here. So I was just going to update you guys on that, and I'll see you in the next video.